Being a New York Jets fan over the past decade plus has been rough. Since 2010, the Jets have zero playoff appearances, eight top 10 draft selections, and 17 different starting quarterbacks. 17 is quite a lot. Let's take a deeper look at that number. Tom Moore then at Indianapolis, the offensive coordinator. You got a busted play here, and then oh, no. and Sanchez gets hit. The ball is loose, and it's alive. I have never seen this before in my life. The recent chapter of the Jets' carousel began on draft night in April of 2009. With the fifth pick of the draft, the New York Jets selected a phenom quarterback out of USC by the name of Mark Travis John Sanchez. Sanchez's career actually got off to a solid start. During his first two seasons, Sanchez put up decent enough stats to let the Jets' elite defense carry the team. The defense, led by Hall of Fame corner Darrell Rivas and head coach Rex Ryan, was so dominant that Sanchez and the Jets reached consecutive AFC Championship games. However, in 2011, Sanchez's 18 interceptions and 10 fumbles were enough to limit New York to only 8 wins and keep them out of the playoffs. 2012 was when it started getting ugly. The Jets got off to an acceptable 3-3 start before going on a 3-game slide. At 3-6, the Jets desperately needed to get hot to save their season. They came up with a big Week 11 win on the road against the St. Louis Rams, before heading to Foxborough for a crucial division matchup against the Patriots on Thanksgiving. In the second quarter, disaster struck. Tom Moore then at Indianapolis, the offensive coordinator, you got a busted play here, and then, oh, no. and then Sanchez gets hit, the ball is loose, and it's alive. I have never seen this. There was no coming back from the butt fumble. The Jets naturally went on to miss the playoffs, and after a season, Sanchez was kicked out of town. Throughout Mark's tenure, Helen Clemens, Greg McElroy, and Tim Tebow also made starts for the Jets. After dumping Sanchez, the Jets used their second round pick on a quarterback out of West Virginia by the name of Eugene Cyril Smith III. Geno Smith's play wasn't very different. He had a major turnover issue and the Jets only won eight games. Before the 2014 season, the Jets acquired Michael Vick in an attempt to bring in a veteran presence to mentor the young quarterback. Yet Geno Smith was so bad that Vick ended up having to take over. Both were atrocious, and the Jets finished the 2014 season with a laughable 4-12 record. After 2014, the Jets wrote off Geno Smith. They wrote me off. I ain't right back, though. That's the problem. I ain't right back. Let's go. The Jets then decided to blow it up and brought in journeyman quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick as a bridge quarterback. But surprisingly, Fitz was good. On his way to leading the Jets to a 10-1 season, Fitzpatrick tossed 31 touchdown passes. Despite having a good season, the Jets narrowly missed out on the final wildcard spot due to an unfortunate tiebreaker. The Jets tried to run it back with Fitzpatrick in 2016, but things didn't go as planned. After New York's 3-8 start, they benched Fitzpatrick for Bryce Petty. Since their rebuild wasn't complete, the Jets decided to bring in a new bridge quarterback for 2017, Josh McCown. McCowan was mediocre at best, and for the second straight season, the Jets benched their starting quarterback for Bryce Petty. After their dreadful 2017 season, the Jets decided it was finally time to bring in their new franchise guy. With the third pick of the draft, the New York Jets selected a phenom quarterback out of USC by the name of Samuel Richard Darnold. Throughout three seasons in New York, Darnold only won 13 of his 38 starts and had more turnovers than touchdowns. After the 2020 season, the Jets traded Darnold to the Carolina Panthers. During Darnold's tenure, Luke Falk, Trevor Simeon, and Joe Flacco also made starts for the Jets. Since drafting quarterbacks had gone so well for the Jets, they decided to use the second overall pick of the 2021 draft on another quarterback, this time a quarterback out of BYU by the name of Zachary Capano Wilson. Wilson had a rough first couple of years in the Big Apple, going 8-14 and and being benched on multiple occasions for Mike White, Josh Johnson, and Joe Flacco. After the 2022 season, rumors started to swirl about the Jets' intentions to make a big move at the quarterback position. After months of speculation, the Jets and Green Bay Packers finalized a deal to send the man, the myth, the legend, the four-time MVP, the future Hall of Famer, Aaron Rodgers, to become the new quarterback of the New York Jets. Yes, the Jets' QB issue is finally solved. And he's coming out of the game. Few plays into game one, Zach Wilson, the former number two overall pick from BYU, who's made 22 starts in the NFL, is thrown. 
During the Jets' Black Friday L, Tim Boyle started for the New York Jets as the 17th and final quarterback on this list. Start spreading the news. 